Anyway, speaking of good video games, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, the sequel to the game. The asset reusing... I gotta remind everyone yep. that every time. It's an asset reusing sequel. Has been delayed to spring 2023. Six full years of since development. Breath of the Wild. Longer... Okay, remember when Breath of the Wild kept almost coming out and then getting delayed? Yes. It has now been longer. Mm -hmm. well, the the development be. has been longer for Breath of the Wild 2 than the original Breath of the Wild. Yes. Which is insane. Well, okay. They had to design a physics engine and like entirely new game development tools and techniques. Well, this this just make this confirms my theory that they didn't actually start any development on the sequel until after the first until one came out. like right before they announced that they were doing it. As as they have mentioned before in interviews, this whole game started as ideas for DLC that just kept spiraling into bigger and bigger projects and then eventually just became its own. I didn't game. think I don't think it better they, be like Elden Ring Zelda. Which Elden Ring was already basically broken. I think but they started maybe a few weeks or months before the E three reveal in twenty nineteen. Yeah. For real. Like, actually started developing it as a new game. Yeah, I don't think they started developing... I don't think they started developing this as a new game until after the first DLC pack came out. Yeah. And I feel like because the first DLC pack, let's actually go... All the DLC for Breath of the Wild, to be honest, isn't great. Kind of lame. Just being honest, it wasn't super parts fun. Are cool. I like Some the parts motorcycle. are cool. The motorcycles... Like, the extra dungeon is cool, but, like, that's the only cool part about the DLC. Like, the... Yeah, really, that's it. Um, and the fact that that was so limited in scope makes me ma makes the theory that this was all stuff that they wanted to add to the game more plausible to me. Because like they clearly wanted to add more DLC to it and just didn't because whatever reason, clearly it became too much and it yeah. just became its own. Game. Yeah, I think they were working in 2019 for about half a year mm -hmm. and then COVID set them back like a full year. Like, I think they did very, very... They were able to get very, very little done in mm -hmm. 2020. And then 2021, they were back pretty much full steam. And they just couldn't meet the 2022 date. And also, again, Nintendo has those insufferably high-quality standards where they will just trash a game in the garbage and well, restart honestly, if it's not good, good enough. Good on them, though. They're the only studio that yeah, actually no, cares about if, the quality if, of the content. If CD Projekt Red was making this game... It would have come out two years ago and not run on the system. It would just crash no. every time you upload, you down, try to play. It would it. still be unplayable, and half the swords would be DLC. Yeah, but we did get we got a little bit. We of did get footage. a little something, something, and again, we don't have the TV to show you guys today. But we did get a, I guess maybe spoiler. Skip ahead like fifteen seconds, I guess. Master sword. We saw the master sword broken okay. again. So apparently, their marketing strategy for Zelda is just break the master sword. Then you got to play the game and figure out why it's broken. Mm. And it's back at it again. Or so I think again. that the sword, the whatever infliction the sword has, because clearly it's not just broken. It's like something's yeah, growing it's like on it. Or something. I think that you know how he has the magic hand now. Like we know he's got yeah. some sort of magic. We see hand. the magic hand again. Yeah. I think the sword will sort of also function as like an extension of the magic. It'll have like, I think the top part where it's like broken off will be like energy, and then it will be able to construct different things. Like it'll. There will be just a default sword blade, but it's just the top of it's like that green glowy energy. And then like maybe it makes a whip or like a grapple hook. I or think whatever else. I think part of your quest will be to like rebuild the master sword. Like you because they're gonna have to start you off mm -hmm. low again. So there's gonna be a big event. Your Sheikah Slate will be replaced with your magic arm. You'll put the magic arm will just do all the same stuff. Yeah. And more stuff. And then the master sword will get broken. You'll start with it, but it'll be able to, like, it'll do, like, two damage, and you can hit, like, twice with it before it, like, has to recharge. Yeah. And then you'll get to a certain point in the game where you get to, like, reforge Upgrade it. it. Yeah. And then it'll, set, again, like, act like the Master Sword does normally in Breath of the Wild. But, um, that's what I think's going on there. And then they said they're working hard to, like, they said they're already doing the sky. That's a whole thing. And they also said they're working hard to make, like... Other new areas. A new area, which... Underground. Underground. Underground sun. or underwater? Ooh, that'd be neat. Because we know the Zora are a, like a big part of Zelda, and we, we didn't see them at all. Because you of the can Wild. swim in Breath of the Wild, but you can't. Like, go we underwater. saw them in Breath of the Wild, but like their entire city was above water. 
Yeah. And they're literally fish people. <laughs> so why well, was they were there, in the rain? Why on earth was it? Yeah, but they, you remember their entire quest was to stop yeah, the to rain, stop right? The rain. Yeah. So, yeah, the, clearly there needs to be some further development on the part of like the, a those spooky, characters. Spooky dark underground world. I like could Dan see that. I mean, out. we already know that there's... Because we see them going underground in the trailer. Yeah, there's clearly some sort of catacombs or some area yeah. underground. Perhaps it'll be more expansive than we have been led to now, believe. Now, I saw some dumb takes on Twitter, Ooh. as Twitter is Twitter never for. has dumb takes. I've never once seen um, a dumb take I saw on people Twitter. being like, well, this is because the Switch 2 is coming out in 2023, and they went to this to come out at the same time as the Switch 2. Mm -hmm. um, no, that is not happening. Um, we're not getting a Switch 2 for at least another two to three years. And if you think that's happening, you're dumb. You're um, part of the problem. If we were getting a Switch 2 next year, it would have too. already been announced to be something they were working on. Yeah. Um, because they, they always do it years in advance to investors and, and people we, like that. So we knew that the NX was coming out since like 2015 or they something announced like the that. NX in 2015, yeah. Yeah. And then we didn't get a reveal until it 2016. wasn't fully. Yeah, it wasn't fully revealed until 2017 or 2016. Well, 2016, and then came out in 2017. But we knew way ahead. Of, I yeah. Mean, if you go on um, Beat 'Em Up's channel, like for the whole, almost the whole first year of the Switch's like reveal and stuff, he was still calling it the NX, just like out yeah. of habit. But like, because we had known it as that for so long. But I mean, this year yeah, is already so catch it back this way. so packed with games. Like, it makes sense for Breath of the Wild to want to move out. If it was going to come out this year, it was going to come out in December anyway. Yeah. Which means it would have been, like, coming out, like, a, two weeks after Pokemon, the new Pokemon came out. Yeah. I, yeah I, it needed breathing room. I think, if anything, they delayed it because there's so much yeah, going on. And if they mark that date, that means spring is the Breath of the Wild time. Like, yeah. that is reserved entirely for Breath of the Wild 2 hype. 